Hi there! In this video we're going to look at Fedora Linux 39 Workstation Edition. This distro is worth a look. You've tuned into the Unboxing with Marty channel. If you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. First off, a little background on the device I'm using. I installed Fedora 39 Workstation on an old laptop that has a M3 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Yeah, I know, I don't win many races with that laptop. Uh, the requirements that I read are uh, you're going to want a 40 gigabyte solid state drive and you're going to want 4 gigabytes of RAM. But I'm going to tell you, you're best off being empowered with knowledge. So I would recommend going to the website, reading the uh, system requirements, getting familiar with it, and also uh, be sure to run it through a thumb drive first. Make sure it's compatible and runs well on your device before you do a full install. Before recording this video, I allowed the uh, Fedora to run some updates. When you initially start up uh, Fedora, you're going to get this uh, start the tour. The tour is quick and simple. All right, if you press the super key, which is your Windows key on a Windows keyboard, uh, you can help navigate. Press it once, you get this. Press it once again, you get this. Press it once again, you get this. Now double press real fast and you see this. We'll do the quick double press again. You get the idea. Next, we're going to learn how to search. Press that super key so we can see the search bar, and we're going to type in text. And it will be shown two text editors. And for fun, I selected LibreOffice. Up here in the far left, upper top, if you click here, you can start to see the workspaces. An easy way to navigate left and right here is by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Or just click with your mouse on the workspace you want to see. This is fun. If you have a uh, touchpad that's uh, three finger capable, you can navigate by sliding your three fingers up and down. And more with that touchpad, if it's three finger capable, you can navigate left and right by sliding your three fingers left and right. Hey then, let's have a walk around this distro. Let's have a look at some of the apps that are included. Firefox is the web browser that is included with Fedora. Always a good idea. Go to the operating system's webpage, learn about that operating system before you install. Next, we'll have a look at the calendar app. Files is always a good app to be familiar with. Some of you are probably thinking it's getting cluttered here, but we're going somewhere with this. Oh yes, and there's that software app. This is where you go when you want to explore new apps, you want to see what's installed, or if there are updates available. Okay, this part's going to get fun. This is how we're going to rearrange all these little windows, and we're going to set them up through these various workspaces. Did you see that? I just dragged it over to workspace. Stick around, there's more, watch this. Here in the upper left, you can see how many workspaces are open. And the one that has the highlight workspace, number position number one in this example, you can see we're looking at it right now. So I'm gonna take this, drag it into position three. Now look, we have a fourth position that just opened up over here. You can see over here, up here in the left, position number two is highlighted. And that's because we've got our focus on the position number two workspace. Let's move more of this around. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Okay, we're going to take this one. We're going to take software, drop it in over here. Look at that. Okay, so I'm navigating by using several options. One, I'm spinning the scroll wheel on the mouse. Two, I'm clicking on an individual workspace when it pops up. Or I can click up here and navigate the same way.
In addition, in this view, I can still see the uh, workspaces that I have open. And of course, if I click on one, I can drag it left and right. Again, I'm going to drag this one. You get it. All right, I'm going to take a couple of moments here and uh, move the mouse over these icons so you can see what apps are included. Next, we're going to see if we can split a screen here. Okay, it looks like we can do a 50-50 here. Yeah, I'm having a little fun here. I decided to drag it up into another workspace. All right, we're going to start closing a few of these windows out. I just want to see how it affects these uh, these six indicators here in the top center underneath the search bar. So watch, I'm going to close this out. You can watch how they shift around. See, now I'm going to that one on the far left just disappeared. We're going to close another one out. Okay, watch what happens to this one on the far left again. We're just going to click here, gone. You get the idea what's going on here. Kind of neat, right? We're going to take a look at settings just to see how we can change the uh, wallpaper. In settings you have appearance where you can pick all the wallpaper as they call it here background. You've got some choices here that are kind of nice. Here's some settings for mouse and touchpad. Here you can view the settings for the mouse, the touchpad, You can do the test settings to the far right. About is going to tell you a little bit about the uh, operating system and the device you're using it on. And I've said it before, this laptop that I'm using doesn't win many races, but it's got a good battery and it seems reliable. And with these Linux operating systems out there, this uh, little laptop of mine just seems to never want to give up. Well, that'll bring this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons below. And as always, thank you.